hello students today now we are going to uh, learn or study the uses of ultrasonic sound okay and as we have discussed we can even say the uses of ultrasound yes because ultrasonic ultrasound all these words are different but the meaning is same we have discussed this thing that we can say either ultrasonic or ultrasonic sound or ultrasound okay so i'll just write the heading uses of ultrasonic sound so uh, before starting the you know the applications of ultrasonic sound let's just talk about what is ultrasonic sound if you all remember ultrasonic sound is a sound uh, which kind of sound whose frequency is more than 20000 hertz isn't it whose frequency is more than 20000 hertz is known as what ultrasonic sound so i'll write over here frequency is more than 20000 hertz yes so a sound whose frequency is more than 20000 hertz is known as ultrasonic sound or ultrasound okay so you know one thing before we start uh, starting the applications of ultrasound i'll just tell you one thing see we have studied in the reflection that how sound uh, gets reflected like light isn't it okay so we have we know now that the sound gets reflected so when we talk about uh, ultrasonic sound even this kind of ranges of frequency ranges okay even this sound will get reflected okay so in both the cases the echo will be there okay when the audible uh, sound okay when it is when it gets reflected echo is there but it is heard okay that is audible but when ultrasonic sound get reflected these kind of echoes cannot be heard why it cannot be heard because the frequency is what more than 20000 hertz that means these kind of echoes cannot be heard then how can it be recognized and it can be recognized by the special instruments okay it cannot be heard by us so wherever whatever uses applications will be talking about will be discussing about it uh, all uh, all these kind of applications are based upon the reflection because ultrasonic sound get reflected that means because the sound gets reflected isn't it because this sound gets reflected and so we have various applications we can use ultrasonic sound in various fields okay so first use of ultrasonic sound is to find faults or defects so it is what defect okay so to find the faults or defects in metals okay so this is the first point the first application of ultrasonic sound what is the uh, what is the first uh, use or application of ultrasonic sound it is to find the defects among the metals now what all this is about when we talk about metals okay it can be iron aluminum anything any kind of metal can be there now we all know the uses of metals isn't it metals are used uh, at n number of places maybe bridges maybe boxes maybe machineries maybe cupboards okay maybe different articles okay maybe in buildings that means we know the uses of metals there are n number of uses of metals now what and where do we use ultrasonic sound children sometimes you know what happen in the sheets of metal or in the metal some defects are there 
defects means what kind of which kind of defects are there maybe kind of a hole maybe kind of you know few cracks can be there and these things are not visible from the upper surface okay because the cracks can be inside between the inner layers the hole can be inside between the inner layers isn't it so these uh, you know defects are not visible from outside so if it is not visible that means what we will assume that there are no defects okay and then these kind of metals can be used for making all this which we have discussed like machines buildings okay and if such kind of metal which has got defect is used in making bridges buildings and different different things different different uh, articles or you know uh, whatever so what can happen when metal are used to make such kind of things which and which kind of metal which which has got defects in it so obviously the metal won't be so strong isn't it the metal won't be so strong and so the structure uh, where this metal is going to be used won't be uh, won't be so strong isn't it are you getting my point what i am saying that what is the use of ultrasonic sound it is to find this is find okay to find faults or defects in metals okay so uh, sometimes you know what happened in the sheets of the metal in the metals okay there are certain cracks or holes which are not visible from the outer like you know just by seeing it is it is not visible okay and uh, we have we know metals are used to make different kind of structures isn't it if in uh, making in in buildings if the low grade metals are used so do you think that the buildings will be strong if in the construction of bridge lower category or the metals are used uh, the kind of metal which has got lot of holes and cracks do you think that that bridge will be quite strong it can't be strong isn't it so that is the reason it has to be you know it has to be located we uh, like uh, if the person who is dealing with this comes to know like yeah this part has got this this kind of defect so then it can be removed it can be replaced isn't it so this was about that what is it what it is like ultrasonic sound is used to find the defects in metal now so how it is done what is done so nothing children metal sheets are taken okay and then the ultrasonic sounds are allowed to pass through them okay now metal sheets are taken okay sheets are taken and the rays are allowed to pass through them in journal and normally all the rays is will uh, uh, i should not say rays waves okay ultrasonic sound is allowed to pass through this okay wherever the metal is like metal is proper if the metal is proper there is no uh, crack or there is no fault or there is no defect there is no hole then this the, the ultrasonic sound the waves will pass clearly okay but if there are cracks in between if there are there are you no know, any kind of defect or hole in between what will happen it will go the ultrasonic sound okay it will go but it will come back again it will come back again it will be reflected so it then the from the point where the ultrasonic sound it get reflected then the that particular point uh, proves or that particular point is you know maybe removed or maybe whatever but then one understand that, that here is any you know, something is wrong over here maybe a crack or whatever maybe hole or something like that okay so this is how the faults in the metals are detected and the uh, you know uh, before making before using the metals always such kind of uh, examination is done so that the metal which is used to make bridges or different articles or maybe in buildings 
can be of good quality ok. So, we will just write about this to what we are studying we are talking about applications of ultrasonic sound ok applications of ultrasonic sound. The first point in this is what what which kind of sound is known as ultrasonic sound children if the frequency is more than 20,000 then it is known as what ultrasonic sound. What is the first use to find the faults or the defects in the uh, metals ok. So, we will just write a little about this. So, metals are used in construction of buildings ok. Then bridges etcetera ok where pure or good quality of metals are to be used. Is it clear? So, metals are used in construction of buildings, bridges etcetera where pure or good quality of metals are to be used. Sometimes the cracks ok the cracks and holes in the metals cannot be seen from outside ok. The, this kind of uh, faults cannot be seen from outside. So, what has to be done? Ultrasonic sound waves has to be passed through them. So, this is our first point ok I will write A because we have written 1 over here. So, this is our A point then this is our B point. Now, we will talk about C point. So, what do we do when we are not able to see the faults, the defects in the metal just by seeing. So, what has to be done then ultrasonic sound waves are allowed are allowed to be are allowed to pass I am not able to write here I will I will write here only I are allowed to pass through the metals and if these waves passes uninterrupted from the metal that means there is no defect ok, but if these sound waves gets reflected back the false 
if it is reflecting reflected back then what does it means that the point from where the sound is coming back the waves are coming back there certainly some fault is there ok. So, reflected back ok just we will have to read now ultrasonic sound waves are allowed to pass through the metals and if these waves passes uninterrupted from the metal that means there is no defect, but if these sound waves get reflected back. So, the reflected back from that point from a particular point particular point proves the presence of fault or defect ok. So, what it is we are talking about ultrasonic sound we are reading the we are studying the applications of ultrasonic sound we are talking the first point we are discussing the first point the first point is about to find the faults or the defects in the where metals because the metal has to be used at various places for making uh, for in the construction or uh, we have discussed about this thing ok. So, waves are passed if waves pass easily that means there is no fault and if the waves return back reflected get reflected that means at that point some fault is there ok. So, this is the very very first application of what uh, ultrasonic sound. Now, we will talk about the second application of ultrasonic sound. The second application is you might be knowing that uh, the this sound waves are generally used to you know uh, for sonography you might have uh, uh, seen also many a times you know many a times uh, we uh, hear also like yeah we like person some you know friends or the parents uh, they talk discuss like yeah one has to go for the sonography is not it. So, what is the meaning of sonography and what is sonography and what is done in sonography. So, we will just discuss uh, all these things in the second point. So, I will just rub the board first. So, we will be discussing the second application ok. So, what I was talking about I was saying that ultrasonic sound is used for sonography ok. So, you know what has to be done in the sonography. Uh, at particular organ see uh, sound waves are allowed to pass to the pa in the patient's body ok. And uh, the body easily uh, the waves can easily pass through the body. Now, whatever is present in the body may be the fats the you know the bones the tissues they reflect the sound back ok. That means, sound will come back the waves will come back please understand whenever I say in this way. So, waves will come back sound waves will come back ok and the pattern which will be formed from different organs will be different on the basis of this only the study of the internal structure is done. So, when sonography is done at particular region the part whose sonography has to be done there the sound waves are allowed to pass ok. See what we are discussing we are discussing second application of ultrasonic sound what is that that it is used for let me write in sonography I will just write in short form in sonography. Okay, it is used in sonography. So, what has to be done the part whose the organ ok the organ whose sonography has to be done at that particular part the sound the ultrasonic sound or the ultrasound will be passed ok it will be passed and whatever organs are there in a body ok they like may be fats tissues bones ok all these will reflect the sound back ok. See waves are coming it is passing inside the body and it will be reflecting back 
the waves will be reflected back okay and all the organs will reflect the uh, reflects the sound back and their patterns are different okay the patterns are different so one can understand okay this one is this okay so when the sonography suppose say for example sonography of the stomach is done so has to be done okay so what will be done the rays will be the waves will be passed where on the stomach region and it will be reflected back and this uh, you know reflection or uh, this uh, can be seen on the monitors even the print out can be taken out on the photographic films okay so sonography uh, you know is done for different different purposes sometimes maybe for the study of fetus fetus is for children unborn baby which is there in the mother's womb okay a unborn an unborn baby which is there in the mother's womb is known as fetus to see the position of the baby to see the position uh, or uh, you know the growth of the fetus to see uh, the you know sometimes maybe the number of fetus for different different purposes so sonography is also done uh, to understand the uh, you know much about the fetus or sonography is also done to study the different organs of the uh, body study means to find out maybe you know some outgrowths are there some deposition is there if some pain is there so uh, it has to be uh, studied has to be seen by the doctor that what exactly is happening inside the body and so the doctors ask for the sonography okay so we we'll, we are talking about sonography sonography is a process which helps us to understand to study the inner organs of the human body and you know uh, this is really very really helpful in the medical science uh, so that you know whatever may say take the example of the fetus if the child unborn child is not uh, in a very good condition you know sometimes the heart is not working sometimes or oh, whatever is a problem so then the doctors can understand and can suggest according to that okay so we are talking about sonography let me write about this so ultrasonic sound ultrasonic sound waves can travel through human body okay ultrasonic sound waves can travel through human body okay now this is our first point of what the second one a point now what can be a b point internal structure okay internal structures like bones tissues fats or fat reflect these waves in the different pattern okay the pattern will be different in different pattern okay now what can be the c point the part whose internal structure of a has to be studied okay now the part whose internal structure has to be studied is allowed to what is allowed to come in 
contact of waves okay the waves get reflected which can be seen on the monitor okay which can be seen on the monitor and even printed on photographic film okay so this is our second point we are talking about ultrasonic sound ultrasonic sound with which what kind of a sound children it is a sound whose frequency is more than 20000 hertz okay so what was our first point our first point was that ultrasonic sound is used to find the faults or the defects in the metals okay now what is the second point it is used in ultrasonography or uh, to study the internal st uh, structure of the human body okay see again i'll just just it out that the ultrasonic sound or the ultrasonic sound waves can pass through the human body okay now whatever organ doctor wants to go through wants the detail of particular organ then that particular to that particular organ the sound waves are allowed to pass and it the the organ reflects the sound back and then this uh, forms a pattern which is noted okay so this is how the sonography can be used again one more point which i have not written over here that it is also used to study the the what the condition and the position or the details of the fetus what is the meaning of fetus fetus is an unborn unborn unborn, unborn child uh, which is there in the mother's womb okay now so this is also very very important uh, you know use or application of ultrasonic sound uh, because uh, because of this study or because of the sonography only the doctors come to know what exactly the problem is there inside the body or in that particular organ okay so again this one is very very important now we will talk about the third application children again there is no place i just managed to write over here now third use can be to remove kidney stones okay to remove kidney stones you know children sometimes uh, some deposition takes place some say near an org near a organ some extra thing get deposited now when this extra thing get deposited one thing always remember children in our body okay nothing will be allowed uh, like any external thing won't be allowed in our body okay and if it is there if it has started settling then it is going to create a problem for our body now certain things starts getting deposited and it give rise to the stone okay it give rise to the stone you might have heard many a times people saying oh that person has got kidney stone okay and different different kinds of stone they talk about so you know what is that it is just a deposition okay so when it get deposited near the kidney uh, or maybe sometimes inside the kidney so it gives lot of uh, pain it's very painful children if the stone is there in the kidney again you know because the excrete it is uh, part of excrete system so while passing the urine it uh, uh, you know it gives up it's very painful to pass urine for the person who has a kidney stone so now then how had it it can be removed children to that particular point okay to that stone the waves are it, it is focused that stone is focused and waves are passed okay so the waves are passed to a extent that that stone gets broken okay that stone gets broken into small small pieces and this pieces can uh, you know can be flushed out through urine so again it is very useful 
and you know one thing which i want to tell you children you know uh, nowadays it's fashion to have you know extra capsules maybe extra uh, you know like calcium what we take from outside okay i can, i just don't want to take the names of any company or something like that but you know extra tablets of the calcium say for example okay there are many calcium tablets which are available in the market so you know uh, even few mothers they don't know and they only give the mothers only give gives to the uh, child ki okay you have this it it's good for your uh, teeth for your bones it will make you strong because it is shown in the television isn't it it is seen it can be seen in the various ads but you know this kind of artificial calcium can get deposited anywhere in your body maybe near the heart maybe in the stomach and then it forms a stone and it can be very very harmful for the person so always remember one should avoid taking extra at least uh, uh, till the age of 30 35 you know uh, till this age the extra the artificial means you know the calcium uh, the artificial calcium tablets and all such kind of things should be avoided because it get deposited in your body if you want to have calcium please take milk okay eat bananas take the products which is rich in a particular uh, thing like when i talk about calcium eat the products which has got calcium when you want to have vitamin tablets and eat the products eat the food uh, which has got vitamins isn't it so be away from all such kind of stuff okay any kind of mineral uh, medicine or nothing nothing is required if you take balanced diet okay because all these things get deposited in the body and then it creates lots of problem for the person okay so coming back to our point our uh, this one application of ultrasonic sound come on come back to this point to remove kidney stone so what is done ultrasonic sound waves are passed and it what when these waves are passed they break this uh, stone into smaller smaller particles and this particles can be flushed out through the urine okay very simple thing so ultrasonic waves are passed and the stone gets broken into smaller pieces which can be flushed out through urine okay so this was our third use third application of ultrasonic sound okay so what is ultrasonic sound a sound whose frequency is more than 20000 hertz first application was to find the faults in the metal second application is what for the sonography to understand the structure of the you know uh, different organs to find uh the position the condition of the fetus okay now what is the next one to remove the kidney stone okay now we will talk about the fourth use of the ultrasonic sound waves okay so let me clear this 